Hey YouTube, it's Michael VSG coming to you with another video today. Um, I just got a lot on my mind. Um, I am part of a support group on Facebook that is 2013 WLS Support Group. Um, it's uh, who Stephanie Stretch got me on. Um, she is Ginger Mama VSG. I believe that's her name, I think, yeah, that's it. Um, she had posted earlier today, um, someone had, you know, about she's on her liquid diet. Someone asked how hard the liquid diet was. And I just wanted to make a video on that. Um, I don't know. She she had said in, in her response that it, it, it's freaking hard, that, you know, she's literally cried a few times over food. And, you know, she has to snap herself out of it saying, you know, how pathetic you know, to be crying over um, loving food. Um, it's not pathetic. I didn't personally did not have to do a liquid diet. I had mine done, you know, uh, December 29th, right after Christmas. My surgeon told me to enjoy my Christmas and then just, you know, cut way back afterwards um, and drink a lot of water. So that's what I did. But the week prior to that, I was like so freaking out that, you know, I'm not going to be able to eat what I want to eat. And what am I going to do without having my Starbucks and my Cokes and, you know, a donut or, you know, a, a taco or, you know, my bread, you know, because I'm a bread person. I'm, you know, addicted. I mean, it's just what it was. And, you know, and I have to admit, I broke down a few times that week, too. And I tried to eat everything that I thought I was going to miss. Oh my God, I made myself sick. Um, wouldn't eat Chinese food and Mexican food. And I had a couple of Starbucks and I said, okay, this is going to be my last one. But no, the next day I got one too. Um, I just, you know, want to let, you know, all the pre-oppers out there, you know, it, it, it's hard. Um, I found it hard. A lot of people are finding it hard. Um, but after I had my surgery, I didn't even think about, you know, um, you know, right after, I didn't even think about, you know, a Starbucks or a Coke or anything. Um, the craving, it was there, kind of. It was, it, it's in your head. Um, but you really didn't crave it. You thought you wanted it, but not really. If that makes any sense, it does to me. Um, I actually thought I wanted a Coke over the weekend and, you know, Cokes are the big no-no because of the carbonation and putting air in your system and whatnot. So I took, you know, I took a swallow of a Coke. Oh my God. It was the nastiest thing I had ever, I'd put in my mouth. Um, wasn't, didn't didn't want it, didn't taste good. I told my wife, oh my God, it just, it, it, it tasted like vomit in my mouth, you know? It was just, it was sweet and syrupy and bubbly and just not, nothing, nothing that I think I ever want again. So, I mean, that's just me. Um, I haven't really craved, um, pastries or donuts I mean because once you have that you know you have this done you know you have to get in that mindset where you don't you know it's not going to bother you um, for me it wasn't hard because I am I'm tired I'm tired of being fat um, you you I guess it's just the willpower you know and I have to say that you know I I was a food addict I would binge I would I would sneak food, I would hide food, I would eat food, you know, and, and I, I don't know more. I mean, I'm, I'm just doing this, you know, this video just so people out there will know what it's like on the other side, um, for me. Now, I, I cannot say this for everyone, you know, but, you know, if, if, if anyone has any questions about, you know, cravings or anything, you know, if, you know, anything... Uh, just leave them in the comments, and I'll get back with it with either a another comment or I'll make a video on it. Um, 
So on that note, you're worth being loved, so love yourself. See y'all later.